I've noticed a lot of dogs, uh, dog owners take their dogs for a walk on the beach here. It's just too awesome. This guy here, he just loves the water, he loves the sand. Uh, he just keeps playing and all this good stuff. So this is just too cool. Uh, got a little bit of a zoom on. So this might be a little shaky. So you can see the Isle of Man is starting to wake up on race day. And it's probably about, oops, probably about 8.30 right now. And there's activity happening on the main street, which is just too cool. Okay. This one was more just a dog video. Yeah, would have been cool bringing King here, that is for sure. TT, in our hotel, this big massive room, we've kind of rearranged <laughs> and got in shit for, but it actually gave us a little bit of walkway in this room. Otherwise, the hotel's not too bad. Facility is a little lacking. Uh, I think you get your room changed every two days. <laughs> or three. <laughs> or three. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, nice people just don't change anything. Change is scary to some people at this place. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Okay, it's race morning. I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of a video. Uh, this is waking up at the TT. Uh, race morning. First race goes today. It's still. Do you know what time it is? Must be about 15 to 7. Time? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock right now. Morning. Race day is 7 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, cool. So 7 o'clock right now. Got about three hours before the races go. And this is what we're waking up to on race morning. You can see all the bikes. This is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit of walk, probably be able to be a little bit of breathing. Ferry Ferry just came in, so I'm hoping we we get a line of procession of bikes coming down Main Street in a couple minutes here. So I just ran upstairs, grabbed my helmet. After coming out for a smoke, yeah, still smoking. And wanted to, oh, ah, get it later, yard, I forgot. So I just wanted to catch all the bikes before uh, TT starts. You can see every type of bike imaginable is here. Uh, I wasn't running the cameras yesterday. Had three old uh, war sidecar, or motorcycles with sidecars cruise by us yesterday when we were in Castletown. I still Still want to do a video down into Castletown, but uh, today's race week, so we're hoping to <coughs> excuse me. Today's race week. Yeah, look at all the bikes. It's heaven. It's absolutely heaven. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Uh, Race week. Really looking forward to races starting here. Uh, I'm still waking up, so excuse my jumping and thoughts. And uh, I'll just turn around at this point in time. Uh, across the street here too. So I'm just 
taking a look at all the bikes. So beautiful. They are so beautiful. All of these motorbikes in one place. All of these bikers in one place. And I gotta admit, most people here are really cool. There are, oh, just like everywhere, everywhere. So race week's here. And I find 99% of the people are really friendly. Well, they share, <coughs> excuse me, wheezing a bit, thinking I'd stop smoking. <coughs> most people, most motorbike people, most motorcyclists are really, really friendly. Most motorcyclists are really friendly towards motorcyclists. It's the commonality of motorcycles. The love of motorcycles, the passion of riding motorcycles brings people together. And that bringing people together, it almost creates uh, an instant friendship that can be worked on because both, both people are very passionate about motorcycles. So, I just wanted to take this opportunity to, to get a good shot of all these motorcycles before they disappear. So, it looks like, we'll cut, we'll cut back to these in a second. It looks like the ferry is off. We got a bit of a procession coming down Main Street, just a few. And back to these. Ah, uh, God. Okay, there. There's Philip's bike. That was that was the moto, and uh, Phil. That's Phil's moto, and used in his. Uh, I may have seen this moto. Yes, you know, not yesterday. I'm not sure when that video will be. Uh, how how long before it takes to make a video, but that's his bike news. That was his wedding bike, his fire blade. Uh, so, uh, just finishing up, just waking up here, and getting all these bikes. I guess a whole bunch of French people are riding these VTRs. That one, obviously, must be British. So, uh, commonality of motorbikes, that's what it's kind of rambling on about. What the hell is that? That is different. Never seen that before. So, oh, there's the rental. There is the 1050 Tiger uh, Triumph that uh, renting off uh, Jason Griffiths. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, once again, good for two up. Now uh, it throws down pretty good, but haven't had a chance to actually run it through any fun roads out here yet. Probably tomorrow I'll do a bit of riding. So far, just just been exploring the Isle of Man and having some fun. And just finish up with uh, the last of the bikes. Yes, you even get trikes here. They even allow trikes to be ridden on this road. But it's got signal lights, it's got a headlight, it's got mirrors, so this one is actually street worthy. Kind of cool. Weird, weird side panels though. Why he has traps like that, I don't know. Different. Could carry a lot of stuff in there. Hmm. But this. Uh, do it again, come down. Uh, so, just wanted to uh, miss the, so far I've missed the sunrises. It's either been too cloudy or we've been sleeping in too late. Yesterday, man, did we ever sleep in late. Stayed up a little late too. So, just wanted to, yeah, I know my eyes are half closed. Feels feels like two, two slits right now. And, uh, 
Uh, so, this is what we're waking up to every morning, which is really cool. And oh, the smell here in the morning is ju just awesome. So, this behind me is what we get to wake up to while being on the Isle of Man. This would be thanks to Philip and Lorraine getting us into the Terravalin Terra Hotel. And I also noticed, you can see there where those two gentlemen are sitting, I don't know if this comes through in the video, two gentlemen sitting on the porch there, their vacancy sign is actually lit. I wasn't expecting that during the TT. But very cool. Still actually vacancies in this place. Oh, did you see that man? That fucker was texting while driving. Go give him a slap upside the head. It's bad enough cages do it. We have a motorcyclist texting while driving. Unreal. Don't text while driving a cage, please. Yes, I've actually lost a uh, friend I was just making to to a texter. So someone texting went through an intersection, uh, got hit by this person, massive head injuries, blah blah blah. So please, oh, sorry, squirrel. So please, uh, do not text while driving. Just wait until you get there. Pull over. Don't text while driving. So, back to... Uh, looks cool over there. So back to doing a little morning video. Race day begins. And... Uh, I was rambling earlier. You hear that in the background? It's beautiful motorbikes almost 20 if you're on the promenade Douglas promenade almost motorbikes going 24 7 just just love the sound and so race week is is beginning and we actually have some blue sky in the morning. That is really rare <laughs> on the Isle of Man I'm noticing. Mostly you start with clouds and if you're lucky they slowly break up and you turn into a nice day. But uh, we got some blue sky out there. It's warm. I'm not getting cold as I'm standing out here this morning. It's going to be a very nice day, a very nice start to race day. Really, really looking forward to this. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the videos to come. Haven't, didn't do too many of practice week. Uh, spending some time with someone here and just sort of getting ready for race week. So, the fun starts. Let's go watch some racing.